chili. Well, we may be able to get them to go. Hey, crew. I know, it's hot, ain't it? Y'all ready to go, crew? Come on. Come on, crew. Hey, Enos. Hey, my shaky legs. Whoa, bless you, Shaky. I'm gonna take y'all along on one of my favorite pastimes today. It's a goat walk. And uh, you know a lot, look at this, look at these goats. Something spooked them. A lot of y'all are always wound up so tight. You just can't hardly make it through a day. You're worried about all kinds of crap going on well it's probably because you ain't got no goats so i'm going to give you the opportunity to come on a goat walk with me and uh hopefully it'll settle you down and calm you down a little bit it's a little warm outside so we may walk the long route we'll get to watch these goats cross some creeks and stuff they don't like water shaky legs is in heat right now so it's going to be a pretty good adventure. And we might talk about some stuff along the way. So come along on my goat walk with me, guys. You got them all bristled up. You, gotta, you don't film the whole thing, but you need to film when we're talking about stuff. All right? This is what this is. It, it's, it's, it's like an opportunity for the viewer to come out on a goat walk with me, you, and Chili, all right? So, yeah, we're talking about making a book about shaky legs, but she just keeps adding to the story. Because I was gonna write a book about her because she almost died when she was little. And uh, I thought she was fine and was, you know, just gonna be all right. Well, about, I don't know, a month ago, she came down with listeria. Now look how that left ear is floppy. See? She came down with listeria, which is a bacteria that, <laughs> that kind of rhymes. It, it, it affects her brain, so now she's lost the ability to hold that left ear up. And so, you know, it's like, when do you write the book on shaky legs? Well, it looks looking like you're gonna have to wait and write it uh, after gone. she dies. <laughs> yeah. So y'all have to stand by on that one. But that goat's got a heck of a story. This is Brownie right here. Yeah. All right, you can cut it now since we're done What's talking. What's going on with Brownie? We're done talking about stuff. What's going on with Brownie? Brownie's a good goat. Chili, Chad don't like that. Well, I was what she was look, the key, look, here's why goats are so good for you. A goat is a prey animal. So they don't have any, come on, let's walk over here with them. They don't have any defense mechanism. They, they're not even that fast. You can, you can run them down, right? Uh, so when you're around goats, you got to be calm. If you come up to a goat, you go in the goat pen or you take these goats out for a walk and you're holding a bunch of stress and worry and anxiety, they're not gonna follow you. And if you come up in the pen with them and you try to sit with them and you're all bound up, they're not gonna come up to you and let you pet them. So the good thing about goats is, is You've got to calm yourself down if you want to be a shepherd like me and come out here and, and have these goats follow you around. You've got to calm yourself down. So that's the good thing about goats. That's, that's why goats are so therapeutic to be around, all right? Mm. Now, see I'm eating these pine needles? That's actually anti-parasitic. So 
a lot of people say if you see goats eating pine needles, it's, it's like a natural dewormer almost. But they seem to love them, especially in the wintertime because they've been eating the fire out of them, but that's about the only thing that's green. What kind yeah, of is that? this is our, um, that's our shepherd dog. Yeah, you gotta have a dog out here with you too. That's Leonard. She's our shepherd dog. She'll keep these goats headed in the right direction if they get out of line. You know, a goat, they just don't have much, what did she say in Chile? They, well, they ain't got nothing going for them. Look at them, get, look. I don't see the upside. Look, part of this, part of the experience is the viewers getting to see the goats do what they're doing. This ain't all about me. This is Shaky Legs and Squirt bringing up the rear. All right, two good goats right there. Uh, these are actually Nigerian dwarf goats. And so the only usefulness of them, other than just being a pet, is uh you can milk them or if you're a mexican you can eat them but i ain't mexican and i don't care to drink goat milk so they're soap out of, man. so they're just pets to me soap. look at shaky shaky doing her thing boy Yeah, they love acorns. And these old acorns right here too, I can't believe they're still eating them because that acorn right there fell probably. Like September 3rd or something? No, that acorn probably fell sometime in late October or November. And uh, they're pretty much rotten. And, and look how, I mean, look how big that acorn is. Look how big that is. That's what we call a swamp chestnut. What you call that? Boy, those are some filthy animals. See, look, this acorn right here, filthy. this is how you know it's, it's rotten. See, it's already sprouted. You see that? Yep. But they're still eating them. A buzzard flying over or something. All right, let's move along. Let's get down on the trail. So Chili's walking uh, back here talking about this one particular goat. That, here they come. When she passes by, I'll, I'll point her out to you. Her name's Esther. Look at her. She, she's hanging back. Hold on. So Esther, here she is right here. Uh, when we first got Esther, we were told that that was a that Esther was a male goat. Well, we didn't know nothing about goats, and they were little bitty old things. And so Esther walked around for probably about a month, and we assumed that she was a billy goat. I told she you, ain't. She ain't. She's a female. And the boss man right here, that's the boss man. His name is S. Thomas Dillard. Uh, generally, we just call him STD, though. But he is the boss Billy. And that goat running front on point up there, that's Enos. And that's his competition. But Enos is like, uh, have you ever watched The Lion King? So y'all know on the Lion King, you've got the big king lion. What's his name? The good king lion. So y'all don't even remember. Simba. Simba, yeah. But you've got the other one, that's Mufasa. That's the evil, kind of old mangy looking lion. I thought it was Scar. Oh yeah, maybe it is Scar. Yeah, the old mangy looking lion. I think that's his brother. That's, that's, that's what Enos is like. He's old mangy, but he's always fighting for top spot in the herd. But STD here, he's got size on him, and he's also got 
He's also got some nice, look at them horns on him. He got nice girth on them horns. He'll try to bite me here in a minute. Good gosh, you're getting heavy, SD. Make a turn right here and get on this trail. Hey, Limp in. Look, get, look, look, get, get square eating that fern. Oh, you rolling that camera? Yeah. Dang, man, I might have edited all this footage out. Cut it here, Blake. Uh. Does your legs usually run sweet? Uh, not always. I mean, she'll lead the way sometimes, but. See, they've been eating these ferns. They've been eating these fiddlehead ferns right here. See, Squirt's eating one right there right now. Look, man, that crap everywhere. It's dirty. Uh, <clears throat> now, I told you. <coughs> Good girl, Shaky Legs. Shaky got a chip. A dry leaf is a goat chip. Now, look, Blake, I want you to go ahead, and I want you to catch, cross the creek and catch them crossing the creek up here. Hurry up. Get on the other side. Good night. Did you see that jump? That had to have been a record. That was a, that was a tall jump. That brownie laid down right there. Uh, goats hate the water. I don't know why, but they will not fool around. If it's raining, they will not be outside. And uh, they, they don't like getting their feet wet either. This, there ain't nothing better than this, YouTube, uh, to give you peace. This is just what Chili needs. Whoa! <laughs> Shaky Legs has had a perpetual runny nose since I guess the day she was born. Just walks around blowing snot all over everybody. But look, it don't get no better than this. Slap dunk. Turn that camera on. Lens has got a squirrel tree in this. What is that? A, what kind of tree is that, Blake? A sycamore? No. Good girl, Lynn Finn. Look, look, it's coming down. It's coming down. Leonard, Leonard, get that squirrel. There it goes. You see it? Good girl, Lynn Finn. Good girl, Leonard. Crapping everywhere, right? Now. <laughs> just crapping, just walking and crapping. Yeah, see? yeah, they don't, they don't, they just crap the little pellets. How about that darn bird dog tree and that squirrel? She won't bark at it. No, nah, she won't bark. She knows she's got good girl, Leonard. How about that squirrel went up that tree right there, jumped over into this smaller tree, <laughs> came down the tree run right amongst these goats and went over there and went up that tree. That's, that, that's smart. That's kind of a bad move, I think. Nah, he knew how to... He wanted to get to that tree he went to. He probably got a hole in there somewhere. No, nah, that's a bad move. You just get up there. So look, let me show y'all. Let me show y'all what this squirrel did. I seen Leonard ran that squirrel up this tree right here the squirrel probably went 12 feet up, jumped over into this tree. Leonard's waiting at the bottom. The squirrel comes down the back side of this and runs 
all amongst the goats and goes over there to the tree it wanted to get in. That's wild, son. All right, we got a creek crossing coming up here. This is an easy crossing. All right, YouTube, we're gonna take them on up and put them in the pen. I ain't gonna keep them out real long today. It's so hot out. They've still got this, they've still got their winter coat on. They haven't lost all that fuzz yet, so we're gonna take them up the hill and put them in the pen. And uh, let us know if you enjoyed coming on a goat walk with us. And I might take you on another one. There's all kinds of stuff happens out on these goat walks that y'all wouldn't freaking believe. So, love you guys. Enough said. <laughs>